You have been betrayed by the no-prime, no-choke promises of the Briggs & Stratton 550EX Series engine. And sure, you can take it to the shop, and if lucky, they'll honor the two-year, two-pull-or-less warranty. But you got family coming over, and you need to knock down that jungle before your dad disowns you and grandpa writes you out of the will. This video will show you how to do a quick engine-mounted carb clean so you can get back to mowing as soon as possible. The first thing to do is pop off the air cleaner cover and filter. Then spray something flammable down the intake. I'm using carburetor cleaner. If the mower runs off of this fuel, you can be assured that nothing is wrong mechanically or with the ignition. You can use uh, starting fluid, carb cleaner, or even small amounts of gas, you know, dropped in with a dropper or something. Now that I am almost certain we are having a carburetor problem, I will place my mower at a comfortable working height so I can remove the carburetor bowl. I find my tailgate serves well as a workbench. There are three things you should consider preparing before you remove the carburetor pole. First thing is to have a plan to catch and dispose of the old gas. For this, I typically make a drip pan out of aluminum foil so I can funnel the gas into my used oil container. I dispose of the oil and gas for free at my local auto, auto parts store. Secondly, if the mower isn't equipped with a fuel shutoff valve, I like to have some vice grips or a clamp ready so I can shut off and control the gas as it leaves the tank. Lastly, it is a good idea to use some sort of chemical resistant gloves when handling any petroleum braced chemicals. It's not so much the oil and gas that I'm afraid of as it is the detergents and stabilizers contained within them. Using a 7mm socket on a quarter inch ratchet, I remove the two bolts that secure the bowl to the bottom of the carburetor. Once the two bolts are removed, you will need to use a screwdriver to gently pry the bowl loose of the carburetor. These plastic carburetors have very tight tolerances and are sealed with O-rings. Before dumping the contents of the bowl out, now is a good time to take note of the condition of the gas and see if any water has collected in the bottom of the bowl. Best practice would probably be to collect a sample of the gas into a clear container and look for water or cloudiness in the gas. Here you can see that I'm swirling the gas as it sits in the bowl while I look for evidence as to why the mower won't start. I can tell you right now that the problem with this mower is that it sat for a long time with E10 gas in the tank. E10 is the 10% ethanol gas that we buy at all the gas pumps around here. Ethanol has a bad habit of collecting relatively large amounts of moisture out of the air when it sits for a long time. The best way to prevent this is just to run the mower out of gas before you put it away for the winter. Because of the poor condition of the gas in this mower, I will just let all of it drain out and start anew with fresh gas. The cool thing about these plastic carburetors is that you can pull the jets right out of them for inspection and cleaning. Again, just like the bowl, the jet can be pried out with a screwdriver. I fussed with the jet for a minute, threatening to take it apart before deciding it was totally unnecessary to do so. I settled for just checking that the jet wasn't clogged by blasting a little carburetor cleaner through it. Now, confident in our repair, we can reassemble the carburetor. The jet just pops right back in. The bowl is pretty tight, so I use the two bolts to help press it back into place. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. And then uh, onto the air filter. Put that back on. And then after that, we just gotta see if she starts. I'm feeling good about this. So, Julius, if we're confident in our repair, we fill the gas tank up all the way. But if we're not, we just put confident, confident in our <laughs> I'm gonna overflow it. That's how confident. Drop a match on it. Yeah. It's fireproof now, boys. Oh, yeah. That's almost all the way. Let's see. Ready start. No prime. No choke. First fucking bowl. How about that? Didn't even give the gas enough time to get in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Is that you? How tall do you like your grass? Uh, I like to cut it down a little. Short. Well, I don't really care much now that I can just mow it any time. Go I used to always cut it down a little shorter because uh, I didn't know when I was going to have a mower next. <laughs> I think that's even. Pretty short. Well. 
Benito. Mowing reminds us of our role in society. As we carve order from the wilds of our planet, our thoughts sometimes turn to the absurdity of it all. We are knowing partners to the Ponzi scheme of civilization, completely dependent on the endless consumption for our survival. We fear the thriftiness of a repaired mower could send it all crashing down. As our efforts produce the results we have been yearning for, our minds relax and our reasons for persistence become clear.